In my last video, I pretty much went through the current GPU market and said that based on current prices, it just wasn't really worth buying a GPU right now unless you really, really need one. Um, with RTX 4000, AMD RX 7000, and Intel Arc still coming later this year, there's not really a great reason to spend the premium with the current prices of GPUs in order to get a graphics card right now when you're gonna see increased performance later this year from the newer versions of cards. And hopefully by then there is a little bit more supply now that manufacturers are well aware of the demand out there. And with Intel getting in the game again as well, that should hopefully bring prices down, especially as they try to price their way into the very competitive GPU market. But I decided to take a deeper dive into the GPU market and prices right now to see if there's actually cards out there for those of you that need them that are actually worth the price. But let's first just take a look at the list of cards and the types of cards we're taking a look at in this video. So we're taking a look at pretty much everything that's RTX 3000 and AMD RX 6000, plus some older generation of cards like the RTX 2060 that you can still get your hands on, as well as like a 1660, 1660 Super, and 1650. And first what we're looking at is how we broke these cards down to this 1080p, 1440p, and 2160p category or 4k um, so pretty much all of the cards at 1080p are going to be ones that are getting right around or right under 60 fps so you have your 1650s your rx 6500 xt 3050 rtx 2060 and this is all coming from the eight game testing that tom's hardware puts their graphics cards through so as you can see here it's sorted by perform it's sorted by price and this is the performance of these cards based on that price point. And if we come over to 1440p, now you have your RX 6600 XTs, your RX 6700 XT, 3070. So every card that's really focused at high FPS 1440p. And you can see there's quite a jump in performance with these cards compared to the 1080p versions. And finally, if we take a look at the 4K cards, now we're getting into the range of a 6800 XT, 6900 XT from AMD, and then the 3080, 3080 Ti, and 3090 from Nvidia. I've cut out the 3090 Ti, I just didn't think it was worth even taking a look at it, but this is being sorted by current prices and you can see how they perform. So if we get rid of that information, that's pretty much how we are actually taking a look at these cards. Is it focused more on 1080p gaming, 1440p, or 4K? And then how are these cards actually performing at their current price point? And I have some data back a couple months ago as to what these cards were priced at, and we'll see in the next set of information that card prices are definitely coming down. There are definitely better deals out there, but what do they compare to uh, at MSRP? And what do they compare to just in terms of pricing against your best price to performance graphics cards? The ones that perform the best for the least amount of money. So now it's time to look at that exact information and see how these cards prices compare to a couple months ago to MSRP and then also to their just general pricing against their performance. So first we'll take a look at again, same categories, 1080p, 1440p and 4K. And we'll look at what these cards are priced at, what you can expect to pay for one of these cards currently, and then also how they are comparing to their MSRP price, as well as are they overpriced compared to the best price to performance graphics card right now, which is the 6600 XT. Just based on pure performance, how much it costs to buy one of those cards, that is the best card you can buy on pure price to performance. So if we were to take the ratio of the performance of a 6600 XT to its price, what would we expect that other card to be to be worth? Uh, what you would expect to pay for that card to get that level of performance. So first we'll take a look at 1080p and you can see how much these cards are currently priced at. What were they priced at in February of this year? And then what is the MSRP? So overall prices are definitely coming down on the majority of cards and you can see that our 6500 XT is the one that's the least overpriced and the least over MSRP right now, but it's still not the greatest performing card at 1080p. So if you wanted a little bit more performance, you might want to take a look at something like an RTX 2060, which isn't super overpriced and it's still not that much over MSRP currently. And if we jump over to the 1440p level or the 1440p numbers, you can take a look at something like 
a RX 6600 XT, which is again, our best price to performance card. It's only 26% uh, over MSRP, very similar to the 6700 XT. Both of those cards are very, very good deals right now. And there's also cards like the 3070 Ti, which aren't super over MSRP and aren't crazy overpriced either. And if we jump over to our 4K cards, now we're looking at again, 6800 XT, 6900 XT, 3080, 3080 Ti. So overall, these cards are the least over MSRP, um, but they're also the most overpriced. So based on their performance, they're the most overpriced, but compared to MSRP, they're not super crazy uh, at the moment. So as you can see here, our 6800 XT is the least overpriced, but it's the most over MSRP currently compared to the other cards. Um, the RTX 3090 is the most overpriced out of any of these cards. It's a $1,900 card right now. And based on the performance of the card, it just shouldn't be that expensive. A 3080 Ti compares very similarly in performance and is way less in terms of the price at this point, similar with the 6900 XT. So compared to MSRP, the 3080 Ti is the least over MSRP, uh, but it's still a little bit overpriced for its performance, but that's probably the best 4K card you can buy at this point in time. And if we just get rid of that information and we think about the best cards that you can buy right now, the ones that actually make sense, the ones that aren't crazy over MSRP and aren't crazy over price. So you might think like a 3090 is a pretty good deal because it's not that far over MSRP, but that card is still super overpriced and you'd be better off going with a 6900 XT or a 3080 Ti or something like a 6500 XT that isn't super overpriced, it isn't super over MSRP, but it's not a great graphics card. Um, so what are the, what's kind of like the peak spot where the card makes sense uh, compared to its performance and also it's not that expensive compared to MSRP. So if we bring those cards in, we can see that right now the best card again is a 6600 XT. It's under $500. The lowest card right now is 479 bucks and it performs better than a 3060, a little bit less than a 6700 XT or 3060 Ti. So performance wise, it's a really, really solid card for 1440p gaming, high 1080p gaming, um, and the price just makes sense. Um, similarly, the 6700 XT is gonna give you more performance and still not that overpriced compared to its MSRP or just the overall level of performance of that card. So overall, those are probably the two peak cards that I would buy or consider buying right now followed by the 3060 Ti. Um, I'd probably avoid the 6500 XT, even though the price kind of makes sense um, from a competitive level, it's not the best card. And then you're taking a look at like a 3070 Ti and a 3070. Um, so for me, the best card you can buy right now is a 6600 XT. And it just makes sense because it's not gonna break the bank coming in under $500. And you're also gonna you know, see some really good performance for that card for years to come. And that's the exact reason why I went with the 6600 XT in my most recent PC giveaway. The card just makes really, really solid sense right now. Um, it's the best deal out there for the most part. So again, if you're really, really in the need of a new card, maybe look at a 6600 XT or a 6700 XT or even an RTX 3060 Ti. But if you're able to hold off, maybe wait for RTX 4000 or Intel Arc or the Radeon RX 7000 series from AMD. Hopefully all of those numbers made sense and you guys learned a little bit about the graphics card market where it stands right now in April. If it did, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave those down below. And if you aren't already, get subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.